now we have to add animation in our character so i'm going to do i'm going to open adobe mixamo then search for bot select this y bot download in tpos Now we have to get a idle animation. Okay, now download without a skin. Now we have to get a walk animation. Set this to in place. Also, I'm going to increase this character arm space, maybe 55. download without a skin now we have to get a run animation download without a skin now we have to get a jump up animation this one download without a skin now i'm going to get a falling animation now in contender i'm going to do i'm going to create a new folder for Mixamo animation, create a new folder for mesh. Now select this OI bot and import this character inside this mesh folder. Import all. Now we have a skeleton mesh character here. Now I'm going to do I'm going to import all of this animation. Now select our Y bot skeleton, import all. Now in Mixama animation, I'm going to select this animation and then retarget animation. So now we have to do, we have to select this target character to our. I think okay select our mesh character and then select all of this animation and export retargeted asset oh no not this one export animation so I'm going to do in content create a new folder for animation export okay now here we can see we have a animation here imported from mixamo so now i'm going to create what is uh, in content folder go to content blueprint now i'm going to create a new animation blueprint this is going to be our mannequin skeleton create and animation blueprint third person okay now select this character and we have to in any class we have to select our animation blueprint animation blueprint third person now we have to open this animation blueprint then we going to close this input section create a state machine now in content i'm going to create a animation 
legacy blend space on the select our skeleton mannequin this is going to be our ideal to run okay and horizontal axis rename this to speed and maximum value set this to 600 I'm going to place this speed into this zero value and then we have to get this work set this to 150 and running I'm going to set this to 500 okay in weight speed I'm going to set at 5 of weight speed get this idle run animation straight promote this to a variable in event graph we have to do in try to get pound owner we have to call get velocity then vector length and set this speed to vector length Now we have a idle animation, working animation. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new input. Mm, duplicate this jump input and rename this to add a new mapping. Set this to sprint and we have to add this shift button now i'm going to do get this sprinting and then select this character movement and search for max walk speed set this to 150 now i'm going to call this function get this movement component set max walk speed set this to 600 i'm going to duplicate this one on completed i'm going to set this to 150. now we can work if i press shift here you can see now we can run now we have to add jump animation for that i'm going to do go to this animation blueprint then try to get pawn owner we have to call get movement component is falling promote this to a variable falling Get this jump up animation and also get this falling animation our rule will be is falling set this to automatic and then we have to add a return note is not boolean then we can back get back to this idle state also in falling we have to set this to loop animation now we have a jump animation and also we have a falling animation 